You went out of your way to pick him? This is nothing. There are no small cases. Any guesses where this joke is going? Could be psychomotor epilepsy. Could be alcohol. Shouldn't we let the ER rule the obvious out before? Atropine toxicity, occipital lobe tumor. You know something about this case you're not telling us? Why would you think that? Because you want to screw with us? Or screw with a hallucinating priest? Both are possible. There's only one way to find out. Run an EEG for epilepsy, CT is brain for tumors. And go check his house of God for toxins. How can you discharge me when you have no idea what's wrong? We know what's wrong, and now that you've slept it off... It's not just a hallucination. I feel nauseous. My foot feels numb, like it's fallen asleep. You didn't mention that before? I didn't notice it before. Are you hiding from someone? Why are you so intent on staying here? I don't feel well. I know there's something wrong with me. Which foot? My left. Oh, God. What the hell is that? What is that? Your toe just fell off. Must be my lucky day. New symptom means the old symptom was a real symptom, and I get to keep our pederast priest after all. Where are four minutes 13? They left. Leprosy could cause necrosis and hallucination. Why would they leave? Because Foreman doesn't work here anymore, and 13 is mad that I fired him. Don't worry, she'll be back. She'll be pissed off, she'll want to take a stand, and then Foreman will convince her there's no reason both of them should be out of a job. Leprosy's a bad fit. Why'd you fire Foreman? I gave him a choice, split or quit. He chose neither. About ergotism. He's giving up his career for her? He's giving up this career for her. No, normal white blood count. Carbon monoxide poisoning? They're good doctors. Separately, they're great doctors. Better than you. Together, they're morons. Go check out the house that they would have checked had this been a real case. And page 13, tell her to run the blood for CO and get the priest in a hyperbaric chamber before anything else falls off. How is he? Stable. Necrosis doesn't look to be spreading. I was talking about Foreman. Is he really gonna leave? That's usually what people do when they get fired. Why are you biting my head off? I was just wondering what he was gonna do. You're right, I'm sorry, it's not your fault. It's not House's fault either. He gave you guys a chance, you blew it. Uh, he didn't give us a chance, he gave us an ultimatum. I would've thought five years here would buy a mistake or two. Looks like a heart attack. You're really a virgin. You have to treat me, you don't have to believe me. And before we treat you, we have to diagnose you. Not knowing whether we can believe you is making that difficult. Everything I've told you is true. You lost your faith because a teenager got confused. And my church abandoned me, and my God forsook me, and I couldn't come up with a reason why God would do that. God gave the church and the kid free will. Their exercise of that free will hurt you means you're just a victim of God's gift to mankind. Oh, yeah. God wants life to have meaning. Life's meaningless without free will. With free will, there's always suffering, so God wants suffering. I got tired of that argument before I even finished saying it. And even if I bought that, the hell is God doing? You know, just the big stuff. The acts of God, the hurricanes, the earthquakes, the random killings of millions of innocent people. And we better damn pray. God, I wish you weren't a pedophile. Lungs are clean, no embolism, no pleurisy, no pneumonia. I'm sorry, this is gonna hurt. No, it's fine. No pain at all? No. Why? Because there should be. You feel that? No. Regional anesthesia is a new symptom. That's the chest pain is related to the numbness. It's not circulatory, it's neurological. We're on a nerve conduction study. And be careful, if you kill him, be dancing with the dark one. The boss always likes that. Yeah, usually worse. Finding a fellow atheist always makes his day. <laughs> Think it's possible maybe God's testing your faith? No, I already failed. There'd be no point in what he's doing to me now. Got something. Looks like intercostal neuralgia. What's that? Something's traumatizing one of the nerves that runs along your ribs. Explains the chest pain and numbness. Could also cause muscle atrophy. Does it do anything to the eyes? Why? What's wrong? Are you seeing Jesus again? I'm seeing nothing. My right eye went blind. 
Ophthalmological exam is normal, nothing structurally wrong with the eye. His heart rate's down, sensory loss is becoming more diffuse, progressive muscle weakness is shutting down. It's gotta be something systemic, like autoimmune. CSF was clear for Guillain-Barre. Cancer? Imaging studies have been clear for tumors. And that leaves infection. He'd be brimming with white blood cells. Or we are at the backstage door of a Duran Duran concert. Hundreds of screaming girls clustered around. What does that mean? That girls like rock bands? The presence of the fans indicates the presence of the band. Different night, same band, same door. Now there's not a girl in sight. What does that mean? Sorry, I don't speak hair band. They weren't a hair band, they were new romantics. The band already left? Nope, band's still there, still rocking out. When does the absence of the fans not indicate the absence of the band? When it's 2009, there aren't any Duran Duran fans. You don't make them anymore. If there's no infection, it's because there aren't any fans, no white cells. You think his spleen? Why do I bother with these great metaphors? If I still have to spell it out, yes, I think it's his spleen. Go get a biopsy. I'll try to get new moon on Monday out of my head. Hold still. You think it's my spleen? It's what they're testing. So if I happen to cure you, what happens then? You start thinking that God was working through me. This is some sort of miracle. Do you think I'm an idiot? It's what I'm testing. Losing my faith wasn't a choice I made. It happened, it's gone for good. But if it can magically disappear, it can magically reappear. And that's what you're hoping. Your job sucks. That's my point. You can make more money frapping decaps, and yet you're still ministering to the meek. Why do the Lord's work if the Lord has left the building? I've been with the church my entire adult life. It's my only marketable skill. I detect the stink of leftover faith. You want to talk hypocrisy? What about you? You act like you don't care about anyone, but here you are saving lives. Solving puzzles. Saving lives is just collateral damage. Yeah, nice try. Yeah, I don't think you're looking for somebody to prove you're right. I think you're looking for somebody to prove you wrong, to give you hope. You want to believe, don't you? Yeah. I want to walk out and find myself in a forest of horror trees. But I don't think it's a good idea to tell people to go fornicate with fruit. Why do people suddenly find religion when they have kids? Fear of the unknown. Cornerstone of faith. I think it makes perfect sense. So it makes sense because it doesn't make sense. The fact that you're railing about it doesn't make a lot of sense. You really got a thing for your boss, huh? I've got a thing for my boss's thing. She doesn't have a thing, per se. Not big on metaphors. What about you? 29 years of celibacy. It's holding you back now. Who wants a relationship with a priest? Who wants a relationship? House? It's the holy water. We assumed if it was an infection, it had to be something big and nasty. But he has pneumocystis, a harmless bug that's everywhere and never makes anyone sick, unless they have a compromised immune system. So Father Nietzsche has AIDS. AIDS meds aren't gonna work. If you'd let us do a test, we could stop treating you, or you could stop lying. I know the feeling. BP's climbing. You feeling okay? No, I feel flushed. Oh, I'm burning all over. Oh, my chest. <sighs> Any second thoughts about Cuddy? Nope. But please, feel free to blather on. Raising a child on her own is scary. She's just doing what you do, what everyone does, trying to avoid pain. Religion is not the opiate of the masses. Religion is the placebo of the masses. You're saying she's not a hypocrite. I'm not. I'm trying to give you a rational reason 
to overlook her hypocrisy so you don't feel like a hypocrite for going. Oh, sorry. Continue. Okay. Even if an absolute truth exists, we can't know all of it. And you can't condemn her for recognizing that. Eliminating symptoms? I can't know everything. This is medicine, not metaphysics. Truth is truth. It fits. It doesn't fit. You can't eliminate a symptom. I can if it's not a symptom. Well, what is it? Not a symptom. You're not gonna die. You have Wiscott Aldrich syndrome. It impairs your immune system, makes you susceptible to all the AIDS stuff without actually having AIDS. He didn't catch it. You were born with it. Another gift from God. You sure? Genetic test should confirm it. It explains all your symptoms. Toe, chest, eyes, skin. What about my hallucination? Scotch explains that. <laughs> 